Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So lately I've been seeing everybody and their grandma and their mother, I don't know, do the one deep makeup challenge. So I decided to hop in the trend and do it myself. So yeah, today I'm doing the one deep makeup challenge. I'm a little bit scared, but I'm also excited to see how it's going to you know, play out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like to see more makeup videos, more fashion, hauls, uh, vlogs. I do a little bit of everything, honestly. So yeah, if you like to see that, just subscribe and let's just start the video. I hope you find it interesting. Yeah, I really do. By the way, once again, I decided to touch my little zip before I started filming this video. So that's why my face is all patchy and red and not good looking. I don't want to waste any product, so I'm going to pump straight in my makeup sponge. I'm going to check if it's not locked. No, it's locked. So yes. <laughs> is this it? Is is this it? Okay. I have a huge face. This little bit is going to be, you know, not enough for my forehead alone, my face. But anyway, let's just do it. Okay. Hopefully it's going to be maybe it's a light coverage day today. So yeah. Also, I have no idea who started this challenge. I've seen I remember seeing it maybe two maybe one year ago on YouTube, but lately a lot of people I'm subscribed to are doing this challenge, so I thought it would be fun to do. Also, I miss makeup challenges. When I was like 14, when I really... I started watching YouTube when I, when I was 10, but when I was maybe 13 and 14, I was really obsessed with makeup and makeup challenges were everywhere. When I started my first YouTube channel, I used to do makeup challenge all the time. I did the no mirror makeup challenge. I did. Uh, is that it? <laughs> I did other makeup challenge that I can't remember now. But it's not this channel. It was another one that it doesn't exist anymore. For my blemishes, I'm going to use the Kiko Milano Skin Tone Concealer in the shade 03. And hmm. boop. 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 okay, I think it's enough, and I'm also going to drag the rest underneath my eyes. Okay, maybe and a little bit here, actually. Okay, okay, it's not that bad. Okay. For underneath my eyes, I'm going to use, just underneath my eyes, the Perfect Coverage Liquid Concealer from Flormar in the shade, it's the lightest shade. And Juxt, Juxt, is this a lot? Yes it is. But we are going to make it work, don't worry, and I'll blend, 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 blend. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the part that scares me of this challenge is the powder part. Like bronzer, especially bronzer, and eye makeup. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Oh, I forgot primer. Woo! This video is a mess already. <laughs> okay, so for my eyebrows, first I'm going to brush them. For my eyebrows, I'm going to use this Essence Eyebrow Gel in the shade Brown, which is a little bit too dry for me. Too dry. It's actually too dry too, but too dark. And oh, I just did this like 20 times. <laughs> Nothing is coming out. So one dip, really. Okay. And then I'm going to 
fill both my eyebrows with this. Once again, I'm going to use my Kiko concealer to clean my brows. This is everything I'm going to use. So I'm going to use this brush to remove this little goopy thing in the end of the applicator. So. Okay, now I'm going to powder my face and I'm going to use loose powder. I'm going to use my Kiko Invisible Touch loose powder. Let's set this brow and I'm going to use my PS Define Brow Gel in the shade, I think it's brown. It doesn't say, but it's just this one, the one I always use. And let's hope it comes out with a lot of product. Just going to hold it. Okay, okay. Can you see? I never been so happy with all this product in my brushes. It's just what I need today. So yeah. Are you excited for Christmas? I know it's October, but it's pretty much November already. And here in this house, we are extra excited for Christmas. I might have a very exciting, massive, like, huge, the biggest Christmas haul ever coming to this channel very soon. Maybe? So if you like Christmas hauls, just stay tuned. Um, yeah, I know it's only November, but I think everybody needs that warm feeling Christmas gives you right now because things in the world are not the best. Um, and honestly, Christmas just makes everything better and it's, I find it very comforting and I think that's what I need at least right now but yeah okay now moving on to bronzer I'm going to use my very loved flawless fusion bronzer from Kiko my brush and twist it okay so I'm actually pretty happy with this bronze situation now let's go for blush and I'm going to use the most pigmented blush I have and that is the Smart Color blush from Kiko. I'm just using a lot of Kiko products today. I just love Kiko. Oh! Here's the blush, here's my brush. And do we see Okay, this is going to be fun. Okay. Okay. I mean, I knew I could trust this blush for this challenge because it is so pigmented that a little goes a long way. So that's all I needed. Just a, a little bit and I'm very blushed, maybe even too much. Yeah. Maybe it's too much, but who cares, you know? Mm. For eyeliner, I'm going to use this My Must Haves eyeshadow from Essence. I have this maybe like three years now, maybe even four years now. I don't know, I love it, I trust it very much. So, yeah, okay. Here's a blush. This is an eyeshadow, but it's 
amazing if you want just a very light gold highlighter because I'm too pale for gold highlighters but I'm also not the biggest fan of rose ones I do have one that I use every single day because I don't have another uh, beside this one but yeah, my brush this work mm -hmm. I'm ruining my brushes doing this but at least it's going to look good Face is done, so I'm going to spray a little bit of this primer water. Not going to use it as a primer because I forgot, but I'm going to use this as a setting spray for my face. This is called PS Prep and Perfect, so I use it. I actually like it because I feel like it melts everything together. Maybe it doesn't, but I just like to use it. Um, like that because you know placebo is a real thing maybe I look in the mirror and I think my makeup looks better I don't know I'm going to shake and just one little I pumped it the wrong way they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand for eyeshadows I'm going to go with my very trusted Naked to Urban Decay palette because I know these shades are super pigmented and I just need a tiny little bit and they are going to work so yeah so I'm going to use the this shade from the palette this shade here and I'm going to put it all over my crease Do -do -do -do. Next, I'm going to use the busted shade and I'm going to apply it on my outer corner. Okay. okay, next, I'm going to use the YDK shade, which is this cool tone brown shimmer shade and I'm going to apply it all over my eyelid and underneath my eyes so let's hope it's enough okay I want to apply some shimmer so I'm going to use these shimmer cubes from the body shop in the shade Honeycomb and I'm going to use my fingers so I'm just going to <laughs> and now I'm going to use the same eyeshadow I use for highlighter in my inner corner I want to use this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil on my waterline to keep some warmth to the look. I really don't know how to do a one deep challenge. I don't think maybe it's allowed to use pencils, but let's just pretend it is. Okay, so I charged my camera just <laughs> the tiniest little bit so I can finish this video. I'm going to use the Essence You Better Work Volume and Girl Mascara. And okay I'm happy with this I'm very happy I really like this mascara, it's very hard to remove, but it's worth it. There's one thing left and that is some lip product and I'm going to go for my P. 
pure loose gloss from H&M Beauty and yeah it's just a very old <laughs> plain translucent lip gloss but with I don't know if you can tell it has sparkles and I just love it it's it's beautiful and I'm running out of battery again mm -mm. So this is the finished look. I'm actually very very happy with it. I'm very proud too and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you on my next one. I like makeup challenges need to come back because I miss them. They are so fun to watch. They are so fun to film. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you did and see you on my next one.